Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 28 of Exoria, a mod pack by DaftQuest. So, my voice is not 100%, fortunately I'm sick, but I really wanted to record, so I'm going to do like a short start and then get into a time lapse because we're ready for big time sieving and I just wanted to show you this setup. So I have triple set of sieve here, one on regular string mesh because that's the one we're going to get the dust from. This is where we're going to uh, sieve the dust, so that's on diamond, and that's where we're going to sieve the gravel from the misty world. And I put some chest in there, but these are all going to get replaced by ender chest, because I don't want to have cables everywhere. So one quick thing I want to do. In the last episode, we made power, we made a couple of things, and we made these uh, flux duck. If I look at the quest quickly, I want to make two more type of duct. I want to make item duct and fluid duct because I'm going to replace almost everything. I'm just going to, I'm done with these. It's over. I'm just going to use these duct. So let's search at duct and let's get started. So item duct are hmm, I, it's a little lag spike as always. I always have that in the beginning of every one of these games. Don't know why. So first, I'm going to need some um, some hardened glass. We've done some before, but we need some more now. So 4, 8, 12, 16. And that's going to be 4 lead. 1, 2, 3, 4. Can I just dump that straight, or do I really need to? Yeah, I really need to crush the lead. So let's just crush that quickly. And let's get that started so I can show you. Uh, I'm also going to show you something immediately because it's part of what I want to do. So let me grab four glowstone and let's go back here and put the glowstone in here so that it can start melting because that's going to be part of what I want to show you. So if I come back here, oh, sorry, this is not finished. No, I'm also going to be crafting a pulverizer. I don't need to show you how to craft a pulverizer, but I need a pulverizer because I, I want to stop doing this. This is kind of annoying. I've been doing it one time after another, just continuously. So, I'm waiting for the first hardened glass, and when I have the first hardened glass, I'm going to use it with tin all around to make the first item ducts. Oh, still waiting for the first one. This is taking so long. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Perfect. So, let's put that right here, and you know what? Let's put four tin. Let's make two sets. So these are item duck, which is what the quest wanted. Now the quest wants some fluid duck. Uh, fluid duck. So transfer fluid will break if content are extremely hot or cold. So this one, these basic fluid duck made out of copper, not so good. The Arden fluid duck may be any temperature. Okay. So these are made from upgrading, uh, no, you can't upgrade. So which one does it want? Oh, it wants the basic fluid duct. So I have to make basic fluid duct, even though I don't want to use those at all. I'm definitely not going to use them because I'm going to go directly to the harden. Although I might use them for water, I guess. But anyway, that's the completion of the quest. Um, long distance transfer, what is this? If I combine item ducts with ender pearls, I can transfer items over longer distance. The dispatcher, that is how I call this device, needs to be attached to an inventory and can then be linked to other receiving inventories. Can be sped up with upgrade and be configured and filtered. Well, I'm not going to go for that right now. I don't even know if I'm going to use it. I remember what it is now and it's eh, so-so. Um, power of choice, steam dynamo and magmatic dynamo and coal generator and oil generator and biofuel generator and then coal generator. Yeah, no. All of these, you've seen how I've already jumped the gun. I'm going to have to craft them for the quest line at some point, but I don't really care. I wanted to look at this one, Igneous Extruder Aqueous Accumulator. So these I would have loved crafting, but like I said, my voice is <clears throat> super raspy. It's not super easy for me to talk. So I'm definitely going to do that at another time, like in the next episode, which hopefully I should be better by then. Okay, so now that I've made these ducks, they're useless. They're totally useless because you need something to use them. You need something called a servo. And servos are in multiple level. This one extracts rate at 3 per second and stacks of 8. It has a filter option blacklist and it 
all, only extract from a single slot. So it's super bad. What does that mean, one single slot? Is that it will always extract from this right here, even though you have this big chest. So that's not something you want to use. But there are other levels. Let me show you. Then there's the Ardent level, which now this one, extraction rate 75%, still extract from a single slot. Or is that change? Uh, is that one also? No, so this, oh, still a single slot. So you need to get to Signalum to be able to up. Uh, extract from multiple slot and signalum is definitely more expensive it's two signalum ingot or if you're a cheaty cheaty little guy like me it's one ingot with a normal servo <laughs> so that's definitely the way i'm going to go i'm just going to uh, grab one two three four one two three four one two let's just craft these i'm going to craft two sets uh that's only two. I need two more. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, I'm out. So I need to uh, split one more set. And that should let me craft two more. No, I need glass. One, two. So I want four of those. Why? Because you make Signalum in batch of four. And I'm going to make Signalum and I'm going to upgrade all of those. So... I'm going to do that in the time lapse though. You've already seen me make some signal. While we're while the other thing I want to show you is more important for now. Oh, I never removed the iron. Okay, so I guess maybe I can make some signal. No, because I need to melt the other thing. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to pick this all up and where's our wrench? Did we not get the wrench in the last episode? We should have gotten the wrench when we did these, right? Yeah. So where's my crescent wrench? Oh, right here. So the crescent wrench, very useful. Shift, right click. Just removes and pick those up immediately. Let's go upstairs while we're waiting for this to melt anyway. I want to start showing you what I wanted to do. So what I want to do is I want to get started with our extraction. So I'm going to put the builder right here. And then I'm going to grab a shape card and we're just going to try this very easily. I want something that's 100 large by 50 high. Uh, I guess 50 high is enough. I'm going to take a quick look and by 100 deep. Then the problem with that, let's put the card in. If I look at where this goes, um... It's right here. It's on top of me and it's going to harvest my base. So it's going down this way, this way, because the way this works is that it works in a cube with this in the center. So first of all, I don't want it to extract anything that's below us. You see how it's going down? So I want it to start from the height of this machine. So we're going to grab the shape card. Oh, we're going to grab the shape card. And then we can put an offset. So what we're going to do is we're going to say offset this by 25 high. Why 25? Because it's half. So if I go 25 high, or maybe it's 26, I never remember, it should bring it at the same level. Uh, so it's one less because now you see I'm one. Uh, yeah, I'm one above, I believe. Let's just go down just to make sure. Is this... Oh, wow, this is so bug. I can walk on this. This is so weird. Okay, don't really care right now. This is way bizarre. It's like a solid box, but I think it's at the right height. But I don't want it on the builder. I want it behind the builder. So now I'm moving back and forth. The reason I'm moving back and forth is if you look at the top right under the minimap, you see that I go from minus 530 to minus 535. So going this way is adding its plus on. Ah, give me a card. So when I said that I wanted this third dimension, uh, that's the X. So this is the X here. I want it to start 50 after. I want to add 50 because I want it to be 50 down this way. So let's do that again. And 50 is not enough because the builder's in it. And I don't want that part of the base in it. So immediately I'm going to grab that back and I'm going to change it to 51. 
Nope. Uh, 26, sorry. Uh, no, that's 25, and that's 151. That one's 51. Let's put it back in. You always have to disable it and re-enable it for it to reappear. Wait, what? Why is this not disappearing? There are some weird bugs sometimes. Then pick up the machine. Let's put it back. I don't understand. It seems to have kept some part. But it doesn't seem to have accepted my 26. Let me just grab that again. Oh, not this. 51. What if I do 52? I shouldn't have. Like, this should have been okay already. And see, now it's further by one too many. So 26 was okay. It's just like there's a weird drawing issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something. Oh, okay, it's gone now. So 51 was the right value. I'm going to put that back in. And I'm going to put the preview mode back on. And perfect. Now it's showing the proper thing. So it's going down this way. And as you can see here, it's not going below my base. So there's no risk of me removing anything from my base. So this is ready to go. Now this is ready to go. It, do it does need power though. So I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to say this is the front. It needs to be on input. Perfect. And this is the back. And this is inputting into here. Yep. So this is grabbing power. And now... Now that we know this needs to work to be able to push power, I can just put it like this. Oh, what happened to my cables here? Huh, that is one bizarre thing. It, here's what I think might have happened. I might be wrong, but I think that when I did the preview mode, remember how I was walking like on solid ground? I'm thinking that maybe it broke cables. I, I don't know why it would, but that's what it does feel to like to me. So I'm going to grab uh, just eight for now. I can always put more later. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to power up that thing. So that's going to produce power, which is putting in here, which is then being put in here. And this is going to use power faster than this is producing. I would probably need two numismatic dynamo to be able to operate this full time. But as you're going to see, we're not going to need to operate this full time. The other thing that we need to do is a little setup that I love. It's it's honestly one of those tricks that's just amazing. If you guys don't know how to build your quarry works, you need to put a chest on top of it. But when you put a chest on top of it, the chest fills like immediately. It's like so fast. And you can't extract out of it fast enough usually. So I've, I've came up with a trick for that. So let's search for, sorry, not this, for drawer, drawer. I'm going to come back here and make a set of four drawer. So one, two, three, four. I make this because that's going to give me a four immediately. And then from that four, I can use one to make a drawer controller. I'm going to need two quartz and six redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two quartz. I'm going to need six stone. Nope, not you. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's do that quickly. Uh, like this, and then we need to put these like so, like so, and these these are my stone. Perfect. And now I should be able to craft that. Oh, I need a diamond. Where's my diamond? Right here. So let's go right here. That should be a drawer controller. And then from the drawer controller, I'm going to need, I want also a compacting drawer. I don't need it. I want it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I don't know why I'm saying stuff like that. I do need it. So one and two piston. So that's going to be my compacting drawer like this. And then I'm going to make a normal single drawer. Let's just make one more chest. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know the recipe by heart, so that one's not complicated. It's wood over wood like this and a chest. And now these two more. I'm going to transform into upgrades like this and I'm going to use these upgrade to make one one void upgrade like so and the rest I'm going to make into emerald upgrade four five six now that emerald are so cheap with my endstone setup I don't really mind doing this and we can go back upstairs 
So let's go back upstairs. Oh, I forgot a lever, which is the one thing that's going to start everything. So I do need my lever right here, one lever. Now we can go back up and I can show you this whole setup start. So the way I love doing this, and I find this is the best way, is that you put a drawer controller on top here. Why? Because this push in here, and this is immediate and instant transport to the drawer. I'm going to put a drawer on this side and a drawer on that side. Then I'm going to come here and I'm going to break some dust and just push some dust in here so that it knows that this will be a dust drawer. And then in this one, uh, oh, I forgot to keep a 4x4. Derp. Let's go back downstairs. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab another 4x4. Four four. Ooh, do I have enough wood? This has to start making wood again. Enough with the sticks. Just grab one stack, put it back in so that we can start getting some more planks. I'm going to put all of this in here and one, two, three, four, and I'm going to grab another set of four. I'm going to show you why in a moment. I just want to explain everything once it's set up. And right here, I put the four by... Oh, really? Give me that back. Here, I put the four by four. And I put the basalt here. So now that I have this set up, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go void upgrade on this because we don't care about the basalt. And I'm going to go max emerald upgrade on this. And this, I'm not going to put any upgrade. And now I'm ready to start this up. So I'm going to put a lever and start it up. And now it's just going to start working like crazy because it already has 2.6 million RF. And I went a bit too high. Yeah, I went too high. I should probably have cut it down. Uh, you know what? It, it's worth it. I'm going to cut it down to, uh, for the height, I'm going to cut it to 30. So 30 high with enough set of 15. And I'm going to put this back in preview mode and yeah now it goes it still goes high enough but it's not no longer a problem and now turn this on and now it's going faster through the chunk because the way it works is that it takes one chunk and it goes from top to bottom oh and already i can show you the reason i did that is that we're going to grab some bones we're going to grab some uh bones and what else do we find we're going to find some bone we're going to find some flint we're going to find like a, uh, maybe some flesh and stuff like that. And I need this to go somewhere or else it's going to gunk this machine. But already you can see I'm at 514 basalt. And if I look here, I'm at 51 blo uh, stacks of ash. S 51. And I haven't even started harvesting, like treating that. So I'm going to need more power in here. But you can already see that I'm pretty much maxing everything. Like... It's, it's going to go faster than I can ever actually process it unless I make my uh, processing setup way bigger. So I didn't want to put too many emeralds in it because I didn't want to go too crazy. But now it's going to get power again and it's going to go a bit slower because now it doesn't have 2.5 million. It's using the power as it goes. And it's just going to slowly be harvesting. You see it's going up, see? Oh, it's not even slowly but at that. It's going really fast. Oh, by the way, this is already, I think, at max. Is it possible in voiding? I don't believe so, but, you know, everything's possible. But anyway, this is set up. Now, what I want to do with this is next step. Next step is Ender. Ender tank. Oh, well, this is probably done. Yes. We're going to be doing two steps. And after those two steps, we're going to be done with this episode well we're going to go into time lapse and i'm going to show you i'm going to explain to you what i want to do in the time lapse so i'm going to grab that let's go back here i'm going to dump all of this in here i'm going to keep eight of those five six seven eight and two of those and then i need some i need some wool so eight wool and i need two chests so let's grab one two chest i think i have everything to craft what i want now so now we're going to make ender chests. Ender chest. Perfect, like that. I uh, still need some obsidian, so one, two, three, four. Put it back right here, and let's go. Ender chest. Two. And here's a little trick. When you're using ender chests, you want them on different channel 
we don't really have any good dyes right now, but we do have ash. And ash can be transformed into gray dye. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do a little something. We're going to go... Uh, did I... I never made my signalum. Let's make my signalum. I should have not, like, put it aside. I should have done it right from the get-go. So I could do the whole setup. Sometimes I'm just... I want to try to do the minimum to get us to the right point as fast as possible. But skipping steps never good. So while we're waiting for that, because that has to melt, I'm going to show you the trick I wanted to show you. So in a fluid transposer, if I put this energized glowstone oh, into it, and then I take it out, and I take these item duck and put them here and fill them, these item duck which transfer items now become impulse item duck where items travel more rapidly so you see how in these kind of pipe when you put a gold thing starts going faster well impulse are like that gold they always go fast so signalum let's look at the signalum blend we needed three copper and one silver so one two three uh, let's do no i don't want to overdo it why because, again, I don't have a pulverizer. Once I have a pulverizer, it might be worth making a bigger batch. But for now, I just want to make what I need to be able to show you the uh, setup. So, a bit more on that. And I don't want to mass click it, keep my finger on it, because it's going to break the shaft, uh, the crankshaft. It's not an expensive part, but it's just having to repair it is just that annoying thing that you don't want to have to do. So let's dump the redstone in here. We're going to grab the one bucket of redstone. Hello. One bucket of redstone. Perfect. We're going to grab four sand to cook the four signalum. And we're going to make the signalum and then we're going to cook it. So let's do that quickly. Copper, silver, destabilized redstone gives us signalum. Signalum into the alloy smelter with the sand is going to give us the signalum. And I'm just going to take one, and one with one is going to make the upgrade that we wanted, and then we can go back upstairs. So now, back upstairs, what I want to do is, I'm not high enough, I'm just going to make a little, no, not the stone, uh, these, the cobblestone that I can break and replace. So I'm going to put a, um, where are my ducks? I forgot to grab them. So let's go back. I made some impulse duck, but I didn't grab them. So that's not very useful. Let's grab my five impulse duck that I have because it's 200 glowstone per, by the way. That's why I got this many. So I'm going to put a impulse duck right here and a chest right here. And before I start putting anything in it, I'm just going to put it on gray one. Gray one's going to be my ash channel. And here I'm going to insert the signalum servo. And this needs a redstone signal to work when you're using a standard servo. But once you have an upgraded servo, well, first of all, you can say whitelist instead of blacklist. So I can say ash block. So it's only going to extract ash block. And I can also go here and say ignore, which means look at how fast these goes through. And look at this. This ender chest is filling like crazy. So that's how I'm going to be producing and extracting my ash. That's also how I'm going to do it with my gravel on the Misty World. And if I come downstairs, as I've told you guys, this is my ash setup right here. Well, I'm going to come here and... So this must have fallen in the wrong place. Let's just remove it and put it here. It's probably when the, this wasn't started. Now I'm going to put the other ender chest right here. And by default, it's empty because it's not on a signal. Now I'm going to put it on the gray channel and voila, it's full of ash block. And we're starting to process ash block. These ash block are going to be sieved and produce material, produce material that gets grabbed and put in this chest. So now we have a problem for sure. The problem that we have is this is going to get full. So I've have, I have to process this very quickly. And it's going to be the exact same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to craft another set of ender chests. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Grab a second chest right now. Oh, second. What am I missing for chest? Plant twine. Uh, 
Am I really? Nope. Nuggets. Always good to check. It's not always what you think it is. So this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, right here and like this. <clears throat> now we can make the ender chest. I'm just going to try and find the recipe. This, oh, forget it. This is ender chest. When you find 20 or 43 something pages, there's no point. So now I'm going to need some more uh, of this ash. And this is going to be the second setup. The second setup, I'm going to put here for now. Really not a good place. I really don't want it there. I'm going to move it. But just to show you the, the startup process, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put this on level the signal 2. So now, when I go back down here, I want to get these resource. Um, how am I going to do this? I still need to get up. Let's build a little path up. Like this, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick swap job. No, I'm going to stop this just to make sure that I don't have a problem. I'm going to put this right here, put this on the second channel, and I'm going to start pushing stuff into it. So this, this, this. <clears throat> what else do I need to put in here? All of this. And all of this. Perfect, and now I can break this and grab it. And I'm going to restart this, just so that nothing's on the ground. Is anything on the ground? Nope, perfect. So I'm going to grab that. And, oh, I didn't grab those fast enough. It doesn't matter. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to get them back from upstairs. Oh, I want to stop being in the path of that, though. So now everything's going into that chest, and if we go back upstairs, oh, one too high. They come into this chest, which is being extracted out of by these. Oh, I only have two working. That's kind of weird. Let me grab two lever. I don't know why I don't have all of them working. Anyway, I'm going to change that setup for sure, but I just want it to work as best as possible for now. So this and this. Perfect. Now all four are working. This should empty way faster now. And you can I can always resort to make sure that the priority is on what I want it to be extracted. But the reason I'm saying it's not final is that I'm going to use an impulse item duck with a servo, with a, another Signalum so, servo for sure. And instead of traveling all of this, this big time lapse, I'm done with the barrels. I'm going to get rid of the barrel and in the center of the base here, that's where I'm going to make put my setup for all of my resources. I'm going to use drawers for everything, and the reason I'm going to use drawers for everything is that I'm going to make sure that, um, oh, sorry, wrong place. I'm going to make sure that from now on, everything is, uh, everything's going directly in drawer to a drawer controller, because that's way faster. I'm also going to have to remove this compacting drawer and repurpose it for something else. And this dust drawer, well, I'm going to have to do the same job. I'm going to have to set that one on a third channel. So a third ender tank channel, the uh, ender tank, ender chest channel, that's going to come downstairs and right here. It's going to be in here to be here. And this one on top, I'm going to put on the same channel as that one because I want it back to go on our resource. So it's always going to be like that. It's always going to be the channel to push thing into my system and channel for where I want to send stuff. Uh, in my time lapse, I'm also going to go to the Misty World. I'm going to build another builder, another, um, what's it called? Another Numimastic Dynamo. And I'm just going to go and make the same setup so that I can get gravel from the Misty World. So I have a lot of work, but with my trout, how it is, uh, it's a good thing. So I'm going to have a 30 minute time lapse, which means time four. I'm going to be able to record two hours of episode and just change my base completely. So it's really going to be nice and cool for me. I'm really happy about doing that setup and I'm really happy to bring it back to you guys. So that's going to be it for now. You know where I'm going with this. I'm going to go upstairs and end on my setup right here because this is epic and amazing. And that's the exact same setting I'm going to do on the Misty World so that we can do the extraction really good. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.
Bye now.